Hi, my name is Rachel Woods, and I'm a senior at Thomas Jefferson High School. Welcome to the hardest poem I've ever had to write. I guess I have to apologize. I've only been on stage for 10 seconds, and I've already lied to you, just like I've been lying to myself for years. As a kid, my Halloween costumes were Prairie Girl, Minnie Mouse, Bride, and Taylor Swift, twice. If you've noticed a pattern, I dressed up as a girl every year for Halloween, just like I've dressed up as a girl every day of my life. When puberty hit, my chest seemed just a little bit too big, mountains that wouldn't let me breathe. At 14, I told my mom I hated my name, but I didn't mention how it felt like a swear word sitting on my tongue or how hearing it spoken aloud made me want to jump out of my own skin. I just told her I wanted to change it, and she was disappointed. She picked it out for me because she felt like it would fit, but like a mini skirt, it's just uncomfortable, and although it works for others, it's never looked good on me. And I didn't let myself believe it had anything to do with the femininity seeping out of the syllables. I didn't realize until 15 the curve of my hips was the only part of me I wished was straight. I blamed it on my stretch marks. I didn't realize until 16, everything below the waist felt too female and dreamt of waking up in a male body. I spent late nights crying, wishing, trying to figure out who I was and long days staring at girls, wondering what species they even were. But I didn't realize until 17, any of this meant anything. Stories from trans guys stuck to me like my breasts are stuck to me, but I couldn't admit it was because I could relate. Couldn't admit their words hung in front of me like a big flashing neon sign, and I just closed my eyes. I wasn't trans. I couldn't be trans because, I mean, peach is in my top five favorite colors. I still cuddle with stuffed animals. I freak out about Disney shows. I dance like an idiot to Taylor Swift for crying out loud. I dressed up as her for Halloween. Twice. But trying on pronouns has proven that he and him fit most comfortably, and the thought of growing into a man makes me feel excited about the future. I finally realized being feminine doesn't make you female. And the only thing stopping me is the person I love most. Because according to my mom's own words, if I were to come out as trans, she would still love me, but it would kill her. Because she doesn't want to lose her daughter. But I'm not sure if her daughter even exists. I'm sorry, this is how I'm officially coming out to you, Mom. Please don't be disappointed in me. I don't know when I got the courage to say this, but here we are. So let's try this again. My name is Artie Woods, and I'm a senior at Thomas Jefferson High School. Welcome to the hardest poem I've ever had to write.